All right, today we're going to learn how to use CSS to swap out a background image and make it clickable. Here's a website I've been working on. I'll just give you a quick sh uh, look at what it, we can do here. You notice it hovers, changes colors. And there's mine. And when you click on it, it takes you to that website. Now, these are background images. So it's very simple to do. So, and uh, we'll start off. I'm using Notepad. You can use whatever editor you want to use. Dreamweaver's fine, whatever. But I'm using Notepad. And I've given myself a div. I'm not doing this in HTML. Even though this is an HTML5 doc, I'm, I'm not going to worry with semantics right now for this example. I just give myself a div, give it an ID of image swap. And on image swap, I give it a height of 200 pixels with a 50% because we're thinking responsive, uh, especially with Google's changes to their algorithms where they're uh, either going to give preference to mobile friendly sites or penalize sites that aren't mobile friendly. I'm not sure exactly what, what their plans are, but you can read more about it at my website, www.skeeterc71.com. First paragraph on the home page, I'll go into it. I specialize in responsive sites, so I decided to write about it and get a little business. But anyhow, so we're thinking responsive, and we got a border, two pixels black and solid, and just give it a quick look what it looks like. That's it right there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a little code snippet here, and this code snippet will be at my website. I'm going to grab that part for right now. Code snippets will be at my website. I'll give you a link below in this video so you can go get them if you need them. But anyhow, you probably will be able to follow along. This is pretty simple. So we'll put that in there and let's close that out. Let's grab the hover one. And we'll put that in there. And we're going to save it. Now, that in and of itself does nothing. You know, so I just refreshed. This is nothing there. What we're going to do is we're going to put an anchor tag here, a link. And we're going to give it the ID of a side underscore button skeeter. And I got it right here. And we're going to give it the name skeeterz71.com. You can just, it's just important to have a name in there. Some wording in here right in this area for the linking purposes. So... Right now, it's going to look weird. I'm going to refresh. It should be all mushed together. And it is. But you'll notice it's it's uh, swapping out the image on hover. That's where the magic takes place. We're pulling the first background image, which is gray. And then on hover, we're pulling in the color image. And because of this link here, that area is also now clickable. Oops, I meant to put a target new, but anyhow, you you get the point here. So, what are we going to do about this? Well, I would like to center it up. This is, you know, pretend this is a sidebar. I would like to center it up, and I'd like to get rid of that text. At the same time, uh, keep it clickable. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the second half of that code snippet. It's overflow hidden. Text indent 100%, white space, no wrap, and margin zero auto. Everybody knows what margin zero auto does. It centers stuff up. But we're going to use the text indent feature to push, push it all the way out the edge of the container. And then we're going to use overflow hidden to clip it off, to completely hide it. So that's what we're going to do right there. So let me go ahead and save that. You know, theoretically, I probably should put the overflow hidden underneath the text indent, but it's going to work. So, we'll refresh, and you'll notice it's now gone, but it's still hoverable and still clickable. So, it'll take you to the site. And really, that's all there is to using CSS to swap out images. You don't need to use JavaScript or jQuery. Works well in all browsers, and does a really nice job. If you like this video, how about giving me a like, share it with someone, leave a comment. Visit 
my website wwwskeeterz 71com for more video tutorials on everything from web and graphic design videos several videos there are videos that i do not have on youtube are there as well and you have a good day